Welcome! Hi everyone, it's Sally from the Friendly Food Club here and today we're going to make tuna and sweet corn fish cakes. Okay, don't forget before we start to just make sure you've washed your hands. Okay, let's get cooking. So we're going to chop an onion and I'm going to show you how to chop an onion safely because onions are sort of round and wobbly. What you need to do is you need to take the long end of the onion and you're going to chop that off with a very sharp knife and then you turn your onion over, you want to cut that through the center and then you want to peel back the onion skin but don't actually pull it off, just peel it back and then you've got something to hold onto each half once you've peeled them back, you've got something to hold onto to then chop. First of all you want to slice this way and for this recipe we want them very finely chopped so we're going to slice it down this way then we're going to chop it over this way and that's our onion nice and finely chopped now. In terms of potatoes you could use and it would make it really really easy recipe just a packet of instant mash and what you would do is you'd follow the instructions on the packet to make it up but today I haven't got that I have got a couple of big baking potatoes that I've popped in the microwave, cooked them in there and I've taken them out of the skins and mashed them up a little bit. Once you've got your mashed potato mashed or you've got your instant mash all ready to go, it's just a case of popping everything in a big bowl and mixing it together. So in goes our mash to start, then we add our onions, then the tuna fish, you could equally use any other tins of fish or beans of any kind. You could use kidney beans, butter beans, black eyed beans, anything like that as well. The sweet corn, the thyme, and a couple of eggs. And we're just going to mix it all together so it's all really well mixed in and we can then form it into little fish cakes. So I'm going to take my patty, put it in my hand, I'm just going to form it into a shape by patting it gently and making it into a round shape. That's one. Now we're going to cook the fish cakes. So now I'm going to pour some oil into a frying pan which is on a medium heat. I want the oil to heat up before I put the fish cakes in. You'll need to cook your fish cakes for about three minutes on one side, two minutes on the other side. You want them to be nice and brown and crispy and when you put them in the pan you don't want to touch them for at least two minutes so they get firmed up. Otherwise it's very difficult to turn them over. So when you've got your fish cakes cooked on both sides, you just want to gently take them out of the pan and just pop them for a moment on a little bit of kitchen roll and then pop them on your plate with some salad or some green vegetables or something and enjoy, enjoy your easy peasy tuna sweet corn fish cakes. Happy cooking.